Take two, because my signal just failed me. Uh, talking about the budget and looking towards 2020, uh, 2021 and beyond, what's actually going to happen econo economically? The easiest way to explain this to you is a window of opportunity. So whilst the press and the papers were saying that the budget is uh, tax hikes, it's going to be you know, huge tax rises, going to really sort of pinch the purse, uh, that's having read, I've read every single page of the budget and the supporting documents and studied what the government have got in store uh, economically, politically, strategically. I could honestly say it's a fundamental, if, if it's executed, like we are working on the basis that it is successfully executed. And I can tell you one thing now, which I'll share in more detail, is they'll need an extended term to, to complete it. And just a little sneak peek, I think they'll probably call an early election. Uh, in order to get that term. I think they'll get everyone excited, start to put some ground roads in, and then they'll go for an early election to try and win those northern uh, northern red seats. Um, if they're successful, let's assume we're successful in uh, executing it as a, a government, and economy, and the plan that's been laid out very clearly, if you actually read it, and if you haven't got time to read the 200 pages, I have read it, so I will share it with you. And I'm in the process of writing a report which you can read, which will explain the five fundamental shifts. The easiest way to explain this is a window of opportunity. Now, probably two analogies to throw in here. One would be, if you think about how we talk about the seasons on Property Entrepreneur, and we have the seasons of the year, and we have the seasons of our lives, and we have the seasons of an economy. We're definitely going from spring. We're going, definitely going into a spring period of the economy. We've had Brexit. We've had a pandemic. We've had a roaring forest fire through the economy, and what's left is going to grow back faster, grow back stronger, and we're, going, we're coming back at it as a sovereign nation. So it's going to be an absolute game changer. We're heading now into the spring and summer, or the spring specifically of our economy, and this period could last. I think it will probably last about nine years of rebuilding it and, and really turbocharging the economy. So we're heading into the spring and summer season. And the opportunity to think here is when you understand that everything works in, uh, everything runs in cycles. Oh, oh brother. Cool. Uh, is that everything runs in cycles. After the spring and summer comes the autumn and the winter. We've been through the winter. We're coming out in spring and summer. We want to make the most of it. When we're talking about a window of opportunity, think about uh, Elon Musk and SpaceX heading over to, uh, heading over, say heading over as if they're going to the shops, heading to Mars. And they, they say that there's a window of opportunity. You can only go to Mars twice a year because of the planets aligning. So you can get a clear run and you can fire off from uh, somewhere on the, on the, uh, on planet Earth off to Mars. Oh, come away from this road because it's noisy. Um, think about a window of opportunity in that capacity where you have a very narrow window to get through in the same way you can only go to Mars twice a year once every six months because of how the planets align there's a window of opportunity for us economically and this window of opportunity is what I would uh, explain as generational wealth there's going to be an opportunity over the next three to five years to create generational wealth generational progress on this curve as the, as the seasons shift gears that you, you won't see again. I guarantee you, once we're through this period, you will not see the opportunity to buy property cheaper than you can build it. You will not see interest rates at 0.1%. You will not see government subsidies, grants, initiatives to recruit. You will not see the government screaming from the sidelines for entrepreneurs to take risks and expand. You will not see a fundamental restructure of the UK economy. If you understand what's coming, uh, and I will share this with you, there's five key shifts that are going to come through. This window of opportunities to get on at this point, because I was trying to explain to the, the property entrepreneurs the other day when I was explaining all of this to them, an easy way to explain it. And uh, the best thing I could come up with is the UK is going to recreate itself, redesign itself, relaunch itself. And the analogy I gave was uh, Beyonce. If you think Beyonce was in Destiny's Child, for those of you that are either uh, young enough or old enough to remember that, Beyonce was in Destiny's Child, which were a good band. She left, reinvented herself, and then became one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Now, the UK 
is already the fifth largest economy in the world. Um, however, there's strong international competition. And you've got to remember, we're only a little island. We're a little island. We've just left the European Union. This can go one or two ways for us. This could be the making of us or it could be the breaking of us. And when you've got strong international economies that are growing faster than the UK, it doesn't take long to get knocked off that hotspot. This window of opportunity is going to be as the UK fundamentally redefine what we are as an economy. And this is going to be everything from uh, going from a local uh, centre of investment, which we currently see mainly down the south and the southeast of the economy. If you look at the percentage of GDP that's generated by region, majority of it is, as you'd expect, in London and uh, the southeast. Going from that local to national and then national to international restructuring our service economy so that we can not only maintain our position for some of the things we're good at like international finance international some international services the the uk when it was part of the eu was one of the highest and uh, two years ago we, we received 42 percent of fdi for the european union so foreign direct investment 41 42 percent of it went to the uk for tech so emerging sectors like tech uh, science we're going to become a global hotspot for these things. And when you understand how to play the game, in five, between five and nine years, if this strategy is executed effectively, which I believe it will be, um, the UK will fundamentally change what, what, we are, what it is and what we do and what we stand as as, an economy, as a country and an economy. And we'll, be, and we'll maintain our stance as a strong international player. In order to do this, huge investment is required in infrastructure. Uh, logistics, um, tech, information, training skills. We need to attract some of the world-class talents. So you're going to see a restructure of immigration rules. The whole game is going to change. In the same way that flying off from, the, from planet Earth to Mars can only happen twice a year because you've got to be on the right place on the globe and you've got to have all the planets aligned so you can get a straight run up to Mars. You only have one opportunity in your lifetime to... to it, there's only one window of opportunity in our lifetime to jump on this. And this is the things that we're going to make the most of is government initiatives. Uh, you're going to see a huge amount of yield compression. So you, at the minute you can buy, you got, at the minute in the UK you have high capital markets, so you have high cash flow markets. High capital markets down south where you can expect uh, strong capital growth year on year or as you go up to the Midlands and up north, uh, high cash flow but low uh, capital growth. What you're going to see is a huge yield compression. So when you understand strategically where to invest and how to build your portfolio and your businesses around that, you can ride this wave, catch this window of opportunity and genuinely make generational progress and generational wealth. You can do, turn months into minutes when you know how to play this game. I will, I'll aim to get it done this month. Uh, I've written about half of it. Uh, the bounce back uh, boom report. And I'm going to break down for you the five shifts. In fact, if you don't already subscribe to YPN magazine, subscribe to YPN because I have written an article for them called The Bounce Back Boom, which goes out uh, in, on the 1st first, first of April. It will land on your doorsteps. That explains five, the five shifts and I'm going to do a report to tell you how to make the most of it. So watch this space. I'll keep you posted. I'm going to start getting back on social media more, doing more videos. Join the Property Entrepreneur official podcast if you haven't already. Follow the Property Entrepreneur YouTube channel. And just stay tuned on these groups and I'll do you updates on uh, the, the, the key initiatives you're going to see, uh, the three strategies that the government are going to deploy, the three pillars that are going to support those, and then the five fundamental shifts that we're going to see in the UK, going from local to national to global, uh, from, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll share them with you uh, in separate videos. So stay tuned, watch this space, and just remember that there's a window of opportunity coming and you do, we, don't, we don't want to miss it. You want to make the most of it because we won't see it again. Hope hey, you're having a great afternoon. Get some steps out. Uh, get some steps in. Get out and get some steps in. Enjoy the sun. And uh, I'll share with you, yeah, Patricia, uh, jump on the YouTube channel. It's Property Entrepreneur YouTube channel. Click subscribe and you'll find all the, uh, all the video updates that we'll do and the interviews on there. So uh, best of luck. Enjoy your day, guys. And uh, I'll catch you soon. Cheers.